I can't stress the importance of using your pH meters properly. Even the cheap ones can be used for years as long as you know how to use and maintain them. The most important thing to remember is, if it dries, it dies. Leaving the probe out for prolonged periods will render your device useless. This is why certain companies ship out their pH meters wet, so don't think that that means it was used and resold. A pH meter's electrode is composed of three glass layers that needs ions to remain hydrated to detect changes in pH. When it dries, it leads to less sensitivity, which results in drifting pH values, slower response times, and incorrect values. Now, a common myth is that you can store your probes in reverse osmosis, distilled, or deionized water. This is absolutely not true, and it's just as bad as letting the probe dry because water that has been purified has all of the particles that could potentially hold the ions removed. This lack of ions will result in the same defects as when a probe is left out to dry. Just know that the only time pure water is used around pH meters is for rinsing. So this is how you properly use your pH meters. You're always gonna wanna store it inside KCL solution, right? Once you take it out of the KCL solution, you wanna rinse the probes in RO or distilled water. That's just gonna clean off the probes, okay? Swirl it around. And once it's swirled around, kind of want to shake these to let off all that excess water. All right now, I'm going to remove these and then I'm going to go into my reservoir and get some of the water that I want to measure. Okay, you don't need a lot, you just need enough to fully submerge the probes. Now, when you're taking a reading, it's important that you swirl it because at times bubbles will accumulate and be on the probe and that'll throw off a reading. All right, so make sure no bubbles accumulated down there. You see the bubbles just came up. Now there's no bubbles, you let it sit. Now if it's RO or reverse osmosis water or distilled water, it'll probably take about three minutes for the reading to stabilize, right? For nutrient and tap water, it only takes about 30 seconds. So you'll see a smiley face on the parameters. That just means it's stabilized and the reading is good to read. So right now the pH is 6.2. My PPM is 236. All right, now I can take it out. And now I am going to shake some of that liquid off, All right? I have a towel on the floor, by the way. It's not like I'm just throwing stuff around. Then I want to rinse it in RO water. Again. And then shake. And then once all that excess liquid is off, then finally place it back into your KCL solution. That is the proper way on how to use and store your pH meters. As seen in the footage, to properly store your pH meters, it's best to use a potassium chloride solution, also known as KCL. It's basically salt water that is ion rich to help keep your probe ionized and it comes in different concentrations ranging from one mole per liter to four moles per liter. A list of the brands and their recommended concentrations are in the description. KCL solution can be purchased online and an eight ounce bottle costs around 13 bucks. However, the absolute cheapest way to get it is to make your own. For a tutorial on how to make your own KCL solution, check out the link on the top right.